It is my honor to introduce our student body president, Lila McNamee. Lila was inducted into Cum Laude Society as a junior and guided the student council this year with her thoughtful, organized, and passionate commitment to Campbell Hall. Serving in student council since middle school, Lila transformed the role of student body president to better serve our community. For the first time, Lila organized a summit of student body presidents from other local independent schools to build relationships, create new policies, and share best practices. In addition, Lila has mentored the underclassmen by facilitating a proposal writing workshop, teaching them successful ways to use their voice to implement effective change. Lila will leave a lasting legacy, not only through her organizing of a time capsule for the class of 2023, but also by, tra by transforming a wealth of information to our next student body president, a, a process she has formalized this year. But Lila's commitment to Campbell Hall goes much further than her work on student council. Lila has played basketball, cheered as a cheerleader, and served as co-president of the Asian Affinity Alliance. On a personal note, I can always count on Lila's leadership in chapel, and I'm grateful for her four years of service as a student chaplain. Lila is not only an extraordinary student, a confident leader, and a responsible community member. Lila is a friend to all she meets, students, faculty, and staff. She's kind and compassionate. She knows how to get things done and how to build bridges of love that make Campbell Hall such a special place. And I know she will bring such commitment and grace with her to Trinity College Dublin. Please join me in welcoming to the podium our student council president, Lila McNamee. President, it is my privilege to be part of this eclectic, talented, charismatic, and connected group of individuals. As I addressed the entire student body at my installation chapel last fall, I spoke to the seniors about the important responsibility we had to leave a profound impact on the Campbell Hall community. I challenged us to think about our legacy and how we want to be remembered. I will remember us as the class that survived and thrived. We've endured every possible retreat mishap bearing buses with flat tires, weathering wildfire evacuations, tolerating teacher talent shows in the rain, and suffering five straight days of masking in Moab. And yet, we are also the kind of class that locked in, laughed it off, and moved on, finding sources of amusement in pepper shakers on the freshman retreat and OTs in Moab. For those unfamiliar, OT stands for Open Tent, where one naive group would welcome as many people as possible into their four, in their small four-person tent, eventually left to sleep in the lingering, inescapable stench of our unwashed classmates. <laughs> Even so, we wouldn't want it any other way. To reflect on the strength and resilience of this class, it would be irresponsible not to acknowledge our COVID era. Although the circumstances were not ideal, we found ways to adapt. Rather than whispering jokes while sitting next to each other in class, we sent the most outrageous texts to our friends over Zoom, anxiously awaiting their reactions. Even muted, we always knew we had succeeded when their screens would go dark just for a second of uncontrollable laughter. <laughs> COVID also pushed us to forge connections in new and creative ways. Our beloved Instagram account, ch.2023 time capsule, was born in COVID way back when the Among Us logo was our profile picture. It has since grown into a staple of our class, featuring 26 promposals, 25 makeshift superlatives, 36 outfit competition contestants, and many more cherished memories. This year, we also made history designing probably the bougiest senior patio Campbell Hall has ever had. <laughs> To the parents who contributed to our patio, thank you. 
We thoroughly enjoyed the customized playing card tables, jumbo bean bags, and the constant supply of starbursts and dum-dums. Our candy budget totaling to a whopping $580. <laughs> and we have the pictures from our disposables to prove it. As a class, we excel in documenting our lives, never resisting a good flick up for Pinker's Picks or the Nucci Smug Mug. Our Instagram accounts like CH Riz, CH Schlumped, and CH Bad Parking bonded our grade <laughs> as we kept everyone accountable when we caught someone lacking. This class is close. We will fiercely and unforgivingly disagree with each other in our grade-wide group chat, unafraid to name names. But when the time comes to rep our senior blue, you can bet your poker money that we are gonna stand as one class united. When I felt devastated by college decisions this year, what helped me get through it all was the support I received from this community. Because of the words of advice from parents, the check-in texts from friends, the CH alumni who connected with me, and the teachers who sat with me during my toughest moments, I never felt alone. Furthermore, it was members of this community that both encouraged me to explore international options and celebrated me when I made the decision to attend Trinity College Dublin in the fall. As I wrap up, I want to share one last note. This past March, I and 13 other seniors went on Ms. Walla's iconic Mexico house build trip. And one essential assignment Ms. Walla asks of all participants is to take a moment to breathe it all in. Now I know as seniors have rehearsed this ceremony for literally hours, but this is it. We are sitting here at Walt Disney Concert Hall graduating. So at some point before we walk off the stage, whether it's right now or when we sing the alma mater for the very last time together, take a moment to breathe it all in because this moment will become a memory before you know it. Campbell Hall, it's time to say goodbye because on this Viking ship, we've reached our destination. Thank you.